Staff at Cumbria's Museum of Military Life in Carlisle Castle have been gearing up for the annual Fontenoy celebration, which takes place this weekend. Fontenoy weekend is, is the name given to this annual regimental weekend. It, it dates back to the days of the old border regiment where they would have a gathering essentially for the old comrades association and so forth. And it was carried on um, after 1959 as a King's Own Royal Border Regimental weekend and it's still carried on, carried on now. Um, so it's always the second weekend in May. Um, the people start to come along from sort of the Friday onwards. The weekend includes a range of events, some organised by the museum and some independently led. There's informal gatherings on Friday and Saturday morning, we have a golf competition. Uh, we have a dinner at the Shepherd's Inn tomorrow, tomorrow evening. It's about 200, just over 200 there. And then on Sunday there's a, there's a parade and a Thanksgiving service at the Cathedral. So it's continuing a tradition that's been around since before, before the Second World War. And obviously most of the folks who come along today uh, serve with what was the King's Own Royal Border Regiment. But there are one or two who served with the Border Regiment before that and some guys of course who's serving with the present Duke of Lancaster's regiment um, so it's spanning several generations of service. The weekend traditionally celebrates a historic battle fought by soldiers representing our region. Because in 1745 um, there was a battle called Fontenoy which is in northern France. Um, the Duke of Cumberland's army was defeated by the French uh, so the French won the battle um, but our regiment was involved in protecting the rear guard of the British army and for that they were granted by Cumberland the honour of a laurel wreath and that was taken into the heraldry of the regiment uh, so the laurel wreath of the old border regiment badge was from that and the wreath of course of the Duke of Lancaster's badge which the badge worn today is the Fontenoy wreath so it's perpetuating that historical tradition of nearly sort of 270 years. And the museum wishes to do its part in keeping the history of the military recent and distant in the public eye. Uh, the great thing is because these, these are the guys who served in the army, the armed forces since 1945, is it's really important that the more modern history of the army, which they, they have been part of, continues to be recorded. So we've been closely involved with this for, for a number of years and there's always that encouragement for the veterans to come and see us, look at photographs, a lot of them bring memorabilia and things along with them. But it's helping to support that business of recording history and making sure that the more modern history of the regiment uh, is kept in the public eye as well as reminding the veterans that their history is really important to us. The tradition provides a venue for former servicemen and women to share the stories of their experiences and give thanks. The Fontenoy weekend is a great weekend for people to meet up with those that they served with in the past from all different periods of history. So we have people from the Border Regiment, the King's Own Royal Border Regiment and the Duke of Lancaster's Regiment. So people come to the castle, they come to the museum to look at old scrapbooks, to remember those days past, swing a tilly lamp, pull up a sandbag and tell those stories. But on the Sunday there is a parade. So they wear their medals, their berets, their regimental blazers, practice on the parade square within the castle and at about midday march down to the cathedral uh, behind a military band where they have a service of thanksgiving at one o'clock. And the event itself is far-reaching, attracting more than just Cumbrians. People live, come from all over the world, they don't just come from Cumbria, so we have people that come from far reaches of the Far East um, to parts of Europe and they come here to meet up with those they perhaps haven't seen since last year and it's important for them to keep that regimental connection uh, and that uh, brotherhood and camaraderie is still there. With the weekend's proceedings already underway, the Fontenoy weekend tradition appears as robust as the soldiers were on the 11th of May in 1745. Kieran McFadgen, That's TV.